Greetings, beloved. Welcome to Narrowgate Channel. Another beautiful day our Father God has made. We are rejoicing and we are glad in need. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is our strength. I welcome those who just joined Narrowgate Channel. Let us learn together. It's Operation Give Jesus Your 100%. 2022 is no retreat, no surrender. We are fighting for what, beloved? Azijiki, Arihumele Morahu. Christ ahead of us, the world behind us. He's teaching us how to live as his disciples. Holiness that pleases him. His standard, not our standard. May his name be glorified. We serve a king, beloved, the great I am, powerful God, the one and only risen king. In him I hid all the treasures of knowledge and wisdom. The honors lies on us, beloved, as individuals. Are we going to hear Ken and heed his warnings and embrace his love as he's preparing us for his coming, ushering us to his kingdom. Glory to his precious name. Hallelujah. We continue, beloved. I'm going to share this message. I know it's long overdue. Praise the name of the Lord. However, beloved, today I'm just laying a foundation. This will come in series. Remember, Paul said to the church in Corinth in his first epistle, chapter 13, verse 9, he said, we know and we prophesy in part. So some of the things, beloved, we will not fully understand, but as our Father reveals we will understand. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And we know that, beloved, our Father is revealing mysteries. So we just have to be patient. I know, beloved, whenever the video that is related to the bride of Christ, many, they bring the scripture in Matthew 22, verse 30, that says there is no marriage in resurrection. And the word of God is true, beloved. However, we lack understanding. That is why our Father is teaching us. And I keep saying, let us be patient. Let us be patient and learn, beloved. Praise the name of the Lord. Some of the things are sealed in scriptures. And it takes a revelation from our Father for us to understand Hallelujah. I will share a few scriptures. Like I said, beloved, this is just a foundation. This will come in series. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, the word of God says in the book of Micah chapter 5 verse 2. Beloved, we know that Jesus, when he was crucified, they put on top of uh, his head, King of the Jews. And we know that he hasn't reigned, beloved. Because he came to save us. Though as a king, he came to redeem us. Revelation 20, it talks about 1,000 years of millennium reign of Jesus Christ. I want to first read uh, what prophet Micah said in Micah 5 verse 2. He said, But thou, Bethlehem, Ephrata, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me, that is to be a ruler in Israel, whose goings forth have been from of old, from everlasting. And now I'm going to move to the book of Matthew chapter 2 verse 6. The word of God says, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah? For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people of Israel. So we see a prophecy that was given by prophet Micah. And we see the fulfillment in Matthew 2 verse 6. And the word of God, he said, a governor, and he shall rule the people of Israel. And we know, beloved, that he hasn't ruled. When he came here on earth, the son of man, he came to save us, king as he is. He came as a lamb to be slain, to redeem us. Now we know that he is a king of kings and he is still going to reign. Praise the name of the Lord. 
Now I will read from the book of Isaiah chapter 65 verse 17. The word of God says, Behold, I create new heavens and a new earth. The former shall not be remembered, nor come into mind. So we see a prophecy by prophet Isaiah. God saying that he is going to create new heavens and new earth. And the former will not be remembered. So beloved, we know that there is going to be a new earth. And again, let us read what John said in Revelation 21 verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. So again, we are being reminded by the vision of John, saying exactly the prophecy that was given to prophet Isaiah. He saw the new heaven and the new earth. So we know, beloved, that there's going to be a new heaven and a new earth. And the former will not be remembered. So let us remember that and keep in mind that the king, the governor, Jesus, the king of the Jews, he hasn't reigned as yet. So let us go now to the book of Revelation chapter 20 and read about the 1000 millennium reign. I will read from Revelation chapter 20 from verse 1 to 5. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till thousands years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them. The judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded, the witnesses of Jesus, and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. But the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. On such the second death has no power, but they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years. And when thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison, and he shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. That is the word of God, beloved. I have read up to verse 8. And we can see, beloved, that the word of God says that Jesus Christ will reign for 1,000 years, millennium reign of our Lord Jesus Christ. With those saints, beloved, that are saved. And again, the word of God says the enemy, the devil, he will be put in the pit for 1,000 years. So saints will be enjoying with their king. The scriptures will now be fulfilled, the prophecies. As I've read for you in Micah chapter 5 and Matthew chapter 2. He will be a king in Israel. We know he hasn't been a king as yet. So it's not going to be in this earth that is polluted by the enemy. It will be in the new earth. Like I mentioned earlier, that on the cross they wrote on top of his head that king of the Jews. So he will be the king to his people for 1,000 years, beloved. And it will happen 
in the new earth. And you will understand, as I've read in um, verse 8 of Revelation 20, it says that after 1,000 years, the devil will be released again. And he will deceive the four corners of the earth. That is what the Bible says in Revelation chapter 20, verse 8. So it shows you that it will be happening in the new earth. And we have to understand, beloved, that this will not be the final. There is going to be a final judgment after the devil is released, after 1,000 years of Jesus reigning. So in that 1,000 years, beloved, we will be living normal life. So that's why many people, when they say there is no marriage in heaven, it is not yet time for heaven we will be living in the new earth, Jesus being our king, so that the prophecies will be fulfilled, ruling over Israel. That is why you read about the gathering of Israel, because he is going to be a king to his people. All prophecies will be fulfilled, beloved. We will live a normal life. People will get married. That is when Jesus will rule and be our king together with his wife. That's why I said many who quote Matthew 22 verse 30 that there is no marriage in heaven. Heaven will be after the final judgment. After the devil is removed from the pit to go and deceive the four corners of the earth again. Then there will be the battle of Armageddon. Beloved, the Bible says, I have not seen, no ear has heard what the Lord had, has in store for his children. What we hear, all um, testimonies of uh, heaven as well, it's in part. So we will be living in the new earth, normal life. We will be enjoying. The devil will not be there. Jesus will be our king together with his wife, the queen, praise the name of the Lord, after the battle of Armageddon, when Jesus has now conquered, making all his enemies his footstool, then is final judgment, beloved. And we know the word of God says the sea will vomit out everyone, hell, everyone, we will all be judged. That is when we will be going to heaven the obedient children, and the disobedient, they will go to the lake of fire together with the devil and his demons. That is the final. So that is when you will understand Matthew 22, verse 30. It's referring to heaven, final, after the millennium reign after we have reigned with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as our King in the new earth. So we will learn more, beloved, as we continue. I just want you to understand that for now. And I want to share, beloved, from the Word of God, Paul spoke about a body terrestrial and body celestial. I have shared, beloved, in one of the videos that I don't know how many bodies that we have in this body. I want to read uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 38. The word of God says, But God giveth it a body as it hath pleased him, and to every seed his own body. All flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beasts, another of fishes, and another of birds. There are also celestial bodies and body terrestrial, but the body of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. Praise the name of the Lord. So, they are body terrestrial and body celestial. Celestial, it has to do with heaven. Those are the bodies that we will be given when we are now taken to heaven 
after judgment, final judgment, after the 1000 millennium reign. So the terrestrial bodies, beloved, they are the bodies that we will have in the new earth. This one that we have, the, the one that we have right now, it is for this earth, for this corrupted earth, beloved. This flesh and blood that we carry right now, it's not going to go anywhere. The new earth, we will have body terrestrial. Then when we are now transformed to glory, final destination, we will have body celestial. Praise the name of the Lord. So beloved, I will end it here. It is exciting. We are living in exciting times. Watching the prophecies being fulfilled. Stay blessed as we continue to learn and to obey. I love you all. Bye-bye.